Hello YouTube, here's another video, the Fat Moto series. Uh, this is my Fat Moto 2019 model that I've uh, upgraded the engine with the Predator 79cc. There it is right there. And now at this particular moment, the drive chain is off. Yesterday during the trial run, the tune-up run, the master link broke right in front of my house. Lucky for me, it was right in front of my house. But I, I don't know what's up with that. But I'll be I'll be putting that back on today and trying to figure out what caused that. But uh yeah, here's the uh, Predator 79 on the Fat Moto. Instead of the uh, stock, there it is over there, see it? The Lipan 80cc, which is actually 79.5. It's a good little motor. Just doesn't have the power or the torque that this one does. So this 79 Predator, you give it gas, you take off fast. It's got, it's got more low end torque. They're both the same horsepower. Just this one, the torque comes in at a lower RPM, so you take off faster. But uh, one little issue is that, that muffler. I'm going to probably have to go to a aftermarket exhaust that stainless steel comes out of here and just goes back. This one uh, is too close to the frame. It's really close to the frame. See that? And already just a couple of test runs. It's already started to bubble the paint right there. So. Here's another uh, issue. Now this is. Uh, this linkage is. Um, unique to the uh, gas bike. Predator 79. They all kind of have a little bit different linkage. But this is the original linkage arm. And it goes from the butterfly and the carburetor. It goes to this governor arm. And originally this spring went from right there to here. And what I've done is, out of a coat hanger, it's made a new arm. And I drilled uh, two holes right there. Originally, this arm here that I'm holding went to this. Now I've got this bent up so this clears. And I've got this spring attached. This governor is stationary. It's no longer hooked up to any linkage, so it's bypassed. But uh, when I had this one hooked up, and I had the governor deleted by putting a uh, zip tie on this spring when it was over here, it still moved slightly. And I was only getting two-thirds throttle. I wasn't getting full throttle with this linkage piece. Now, I get full throttle, no governor. But, uh, you know, even when you bypass a governor on these engines, there's always a chance that that plastic governor wheel inside the engine at higher RPMs will come apart and detonate inside your engine. And that's not good. That's why they recommend if you're going to bypass the uh, governor, just go ahead and delete it. And then if the engine blows, it blows anyway because of higher RPMs, not because the governor mechanism came apart inside. Anyway, uh, right out of the box, I got a problem with this carburetor. It doesn't want to idle, and at uh, full speed, Sometimes it'll spit and sputter like it's 
I'm not getting gas. I think it's a float. I think it's a float issue. But that's a, since this is a California engine, that's a small carb, so there's no way to really adjust it other than take it apart and you can change the jet inside. But there, there's no mixture adjustment. So I'll deal with that, and if I can't fix it, I'll just replace that with an adjustable carb. They're cheap, $10, $12, $15. $15. I got the mount from uh, Go Power Sports. And it's an adjustable mount. Now, this mount was originally designed for a mini bike that ran that same life fan engine. So the bolt pattern on this uh, adapter plate is the same. This screw and that screw is the life fan mounting plate. Now why I couldn't use this on this life fan plate is because to hook up to the stock jack shaft you need to shift the engine three quarters of an inch this way. So what I did was, let's see if I can get in there focused right. So what I did was, is I drilled two elongated holes to, to shift the motor over. Now I could have just drilled them here and went to here, but I wanted to leave this stock because if I decide to run this transmission on the 79 instead of the stock jack shaft then I'll need to put it on these this bolt hole and that bolt hole on here so this way with this adapter plate you don't have to drill any holes in the fat moto it stays completely stock now, this wedge adapter and this adjustable plate is 70 bucks, $69.95. Now, it cost me $86 um, shipped from Texas with sales tax and shipping to my door here in Northern California, 86 bucks. So it's going to run you similar depending on where you're at in the country. But uh, it, it's a quality piece of equipment. It made this um, motor switch pretty simple I did have to drill those uh, elongated holes but that, that's a piece of cake this aluminum's easy to work with it's easy to drill those holes and file it out and that's a piece of cake um, I guess that's about it uh, the uh, original fat moto throttle cable has this hook in it right here because it came around originally under here and went straight up to the original fat moto carburetor but with this conversion with this gas bike engine it just loops right around here fit right in this deal went right over here to the cable stop cable connector anyway um, a different Predator motor, like if you get one from Harbor Freight, it's really easy to make your own little uh, uh, throttle linkage. Use a little L bracket here and uh, ho hook this piece here. You can get these pieces. You can even make one off of, a, off of a, an old brake where the cable comes into the old style brakes. Anyway... And, and hook it up to this throttle arm here. It's really simple. There's a ton of videos on YouTube to show you how to do that. Okay. So that's about it. Um, I'm going to uh, probably, on another bike I have, get another Predator engine, use that transmission. Then another bike I have... It's currently got a 49cc four stroke on it, which I don't like. It's real anemic. It's real. I'm going to put this life end motor on it. 
So I won't have a two-stroke anymore. I'll have three four-strokes and all 80 cc's. So anyway, I will talk to you later and uh, do another video when I get this thing fine-tuned. Oh, and on that exhaust, I got some exhaust wrap coming to see if that'll uh, cool this thing down. If not, I'm going to put a, a, a different exhaust on here, one that comes out like this to a little muffler. So anyway, that's it. I will talk to you later, and uh, see you later.